That, of course, was uh, the voice of Hillary Clinton <laughs> out campaigning, and that's why I want Hillary, one of the many reasons. Those are three incredible things she can do. I did. You've never actually said that, Harry. You are a Hillary guy. I didn't know that. Actually, I'm not determined yet. We still have 400 and some days. Again, as John Oliver said, there will be babies born on Election Day whose parents have not yet met. That's how far away we are from this right. election. So uh, that was a clip from Drop Dead Gorgeous, which our guest actually just recently saw Drop Dead Gorgeous. Our guest, by the way, hello, Miss Minnesota, 2015. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good Congratulations. Do us proud September 13th, right? Thank you, is, yes. Is when you head off to Atlantic City mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the big pageant. And everyone can watch live on ABC at 8 o'clock. Have a Miss America ABC. party. Yeah. yeah. I'm totally having that. Yes. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. We totally are. All right. Yeah. Done. Um, you just said you watched Death Drop Dead Gorgeous recently, which was shot here in Minnesota. Right. Filled with, uh, we were just listing off some of the people Denise Richards, Amy Adams, uh, who's the Spider Man lady? Kristen Dunst. Kristen Dunst. Uh, what, what's your opinion of that movie? Yeah, it's, a gr it's a great spoof movie. I mean, it's kind of like scary movie. You right. watch it and it's and it's entertaining and it's hilarious, but you're, you're not going to take it seriously. Just like, does I, any of it ring yeah. true though? When you watch it, you're like, yeah, okay, I've been, I can, I know who that person's supposed to be. No, I really, I watched it and I just, I couldn't believe all of the things that just aren't true about it. But uh -huh. you gotta love it though, because at the same time, it, it just does a little spoof about even Minnesotans. We don't want to be seen as right. uh, that type of person because you really don't have that thick of an accent. I know, I like, got a kick out of the accent. <laughs> well, I need to rewatch it, because you said, you shouldn't take it seriously, and I did, so maybe... But you thought it was a documentary. Yeah, it changed my view. No, I'm going to rewatch it. Oh, you thought it was yeah. a documentary? Yeah. <laughs> kind of like the movie Taken, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. that's not a sort of a documentary, <laughs> so that's just so you don't understand. Uh, here's one more moment from Drop Dead Gorgeous. Kirstie Alley, I think, uh, who's also in a kind of voicing what some people might think about pageants. It's real sure this Boy, they nailed that accent in the whole car. You know what? I don't know if I've ever actually met a Minnesota that talks no, that like aggressively that. with the accent. No, no my ex mother in law seriously was that person. Yeah. I don't I have like, any accent. I wonder, though, if we're not just used to it because when we moved here, oh, I, I, I first thing yeah. seventh grade, uh, this kid was like talking about his summer, and he's like, We went on the boy. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> What yeah. is going on here? Do you well, catch yourself doing that by accident? Be like, Oh, Oh, I just said that. I said big. Yeah, oh. yeah. Well, you as a teacher, Rachel's yes. background is teaching. You actually spent some time up north, eh? Like, not far from Canada. Oh, I, I'm still there. I'm still there. Oh, um, that's... I'm taking a leave of absence because I was oh, proud of this Minnesota, okay. but that'll be the job that I have up, up until I retire. I, I love well, it tell, there. Tell us about that. What, what's, what is the job then? I'm a high school visual arts teacher, so most of my students are... 10th through 12th grade, so I blend in really good, so I can always catch when they're doing something. Because you're so young. It's like 21 yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
but I can always catch them. But we have a great relationship there. They've been nothing but supportive for Miss Musa. It's been something that's very inspirational for them because in a rural school, you're kind of in the middle of nowhere. You're surrounded by the woods. And for them, it's inspiring because they can see, oh, well, Miss Latif can be Miss Minnesota. Well, what can I be? How can I branch out from this place and really be who I want to be? Well, what, what was your childhood like? Where did you grow up? I actually grew up kind of in the Twin Cities area, in the Hastings area. Okay. Yeah, huh. um, I grew up on a hobby farm, and I had horses growing up, and so I was nice. like, I, I had my very own Arabian horse, so it was very uh, old, yeah. And uh, I was never at the pageants, I, I never did any of it until did I was in college. you horsey competitions? No, I didn't. My dad tried so hard to get me to do barrel racing, and it just oh, failed wow. every time. <laughs> it failed every time. We tried it once, and... Uh, I, I just, it never stuck to me, but I love horses. Visions of Christopher Reeves kind of flash before your eyes. I wouldn't do it. I don't know. It's like Seabus getting there. Yeah, I'm afraid of Superman. And so then, what did you think, what, what, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I know I really, I, I've always loved art, because I really felt that that was the only place in high school that I felt like I could truly be myself. I struggled a lot with my identity. I always felt like uh, one day I loved wearing black all day. And then the next day I'm going to work Hollister. What's so, wrong with you? <laughs> You're just, artsy. I'm I'm super artsy, but at the same time, you know, I I like to purchase things in color, and I love all different kinds of music, and that was the only room that I really felt like I was me, and so I was inspired by art, and I wanted to work with children and do the same thing, and really kind of respect other. So you sincerely followed that dream because yes. that's exactly what you're doing that's now. Exactly what I'm doing right now. Wow, look at you. So how did the passions happen? First of all, here it was not too long ago. This was just June 13th at Eden Prairie High School uh, when you got crowned Miss Minnesota. Was it? <laughs> oh. She's channeling. You guys can't see this, of course. She is channeling. How did that feel? <laughs> it was. You cannot describe the experience unless you are down to the final two. I had so many different emotions just running through me, but it's it's adrenaline, excitement, but oh my gosh, I'm I'm Miss Minnesota. I could be your next Miss America, and it's just a rush. Were yeah. you be honest when you were standing there holding hands with the other girl? Were you in your head practicing if you didn't get called to not cry and look happy for her? I you know I'm I'm. I tried to just be very calm. I think yeah. when I was called into the top five, I was one one of the most calmest on that stage because it wasn't my first attempt. So last year I was fourth runner up, and so I had okay. kind of been in that similar position. Yeah. So it's just making sure that I was being calm, right? Trying to be humble, you know, thinking about well, if my students were watching, what sure. would they want to see? They want to see someone that not has that calm. On the floor yeah, kind. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Well, there's a lot uh, at stake, even at, at your level, because I mean they're yes. paying for you to take a year off your your day job. It's I mean it's, it's, it's a big deal. It's a very yeah. unique situation because I don't think Miss Minnesota has ever been a teacher before. Mm -hmm. so, uh, somebody oh, has been wow. in, in my career so long. I mean it's two years, and, and mm -hmm. that's that's quite a while for someone as, as young as me. Mm -hmm. But they've been nothing but supportive, and my school is so supportive because like I said not a lot of things like this happen right up there so you, you gotta take it in front of it what's the age you have to be like what's your what, 18 to what uh, to 24 so I it was I'm my right last under the wire. you're just on the cusp oh, I know yeah. it was my last year too so it was kind of like all or nothing yeah. all or nothing mm -hmm. and, and it's okay if you try more than once yes absolutely you do have to go back up the tiered system so you have to win a local pageant before you can win uh, before you can go to state and so for me i had i was missing paul and I, I didn't win that year but i had to go back and win another local title so there's a process it's what a tiered system what did you win i was miss Olmsted county before i won the title do you have to live so there in vienna or you no okay. no some pageants are they're called open pageants which means you just have to be from the state of minnesota okay. oh. There. So that's the Rochester area, if anybody's unfamiliar with Home State County, which is very close to my hometown. Yeah. Yeah. So what uh, what what has it been like since you got crowned in June? What have you been up to? By the way, she does have a crown here in the I'm studio. Here. I'm touching it right now. That's got to be worth <laughs> about a billion dollars. <laughs> so we, can, we can take a photo and post it on Twitter for you. Oh, okay. Okay. 
diamonds. It's like diamonds. Much. It's yeah, it's like it's rhinestone diamonds. I mean, I'm not yeah. gonna be walking around wearing a million dollar crown by any <laughs> means in the middle of the sure, Well, she has three bodyguards <laughs> walking in your room. No, yeah. Hey, so what, what have you been up to since you won that beautiful crown? It's been just a variety of different things. I've been traveling across the state. I was just at the Met Lake Reservation yesterday and um, just providing a speech there for them, something showing encouraging words and performing my talent and. A lot of it's getting ready for Miss America, having having interviews and uh, figuring out really what you want to do with your reign if you were to win Miss America. Making sure you're staying true to the type of person that you want to be, not somebody that they watch. So your do you have to have your platform already prepared? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. So you have to convince the judges that your platform issue is a national issue. Mm -hmm. and so mine is the heart of learning, providing what our classrooms need. It's all about education reform, and it's something that's incredibly big right now, and will be big come the next election season. At least I would hope. So, what, what do you do to prepare? I mean, are you like, is it like Rocky? Are you out there running and doing push-ups? Oh, oh, there's definitely the fitness aspect of it. I'm, I'm in the gym every single day, and that's something though that I've already been doing it after school. I'd be in the gym and lifting weights, and my students would see that, and it's something that that I want to inspire, uh, having a healthy lifestyle. It, it's training. Do you look at day. Do you look at uh, other winners and go, you know, study what does it take to win Miss America? Or is there a commonality? Some, what are they doing? Yeah. Some people think that you have this system or that they have this formula for how to win, and that's just not true for Miss America. It could really be anyone, but what they do crown is somebody who knows who they are and is really passionate about something in particular. So that's why every Miss America is so different. So I don't I don't give in to that hype. I really just kind of stick to what I want to do, what I want to get out of my and, and go with it. Because if you look back to 1989, uh, Gretchen Carlson. Yes, she was the, yeah. Completely different physicality than certainly you, because yeah. you're dark haired, dark brown, oh, uh, brown yeah. eyed. She was this blonde haired mm -hmm. and small for Miss Minnesota, Very right? Short. Stature. So, with, I think, with, I, I guess in my head, I think they all are like kind of petite, short. Are they mostly tall? No, not necessarily. Really? Yeah. With um, this music. <laughs> this is her talent. Yeah. Was, I think this She's may have been what put her over, actually. And and for that particular year, they were really focused on talent. That was a big thing. And this year, they are really pertaining towards um, interview. That's that's a big thing. Is this inside know. scoop, or how do you how did or is they, they announced? This year we're focusing on. Uh, they don't announce it, but yeah. that but that's one thing. Miss America is constantly doing interviews. She's mm -hmm. constantly traveling, talking to mm -hmm. people. She needs to be pretty good at that. Right? Yeah. Versus your talent, you might only perform that in certain moments, but absolutely Gretchen's talent put her over the top. Well, here just uh, one more with Gretchen. Here's what uh, she did right after she won. Letterman. David Letterman. Let this go just for a moment. I edited to the uh, where she talks about growing up in Minnesota. <laughs> anyway, 
So are you prepared for the kind of, well, we're getting you prepared I mean, here I this guess. morning, actually. I to talk about being in the Yeah, he's <laughs> being Her voice sounded yeah, in, in old-timey movie star, didn't it? Yeah, like, he's like, right. I, and she, she has that key of the time and time like this. Yes, it's clearly gotten her very far. The question is now. Yeah. She's shortly after her. Uh, is it, it's a rain. Your yep, year. Her one year rain. Her one year rain. She worked at Channel Five. I got to work with her for okay. a moment, and then she went down to Virginia. Uh, yeah, I worked with her. You know? Okay. Okay. Good. Not but, a fan. No, she was. She was fine. She had aspirations. We were. Not. Yeah. Not much money. Yeah. She was always looking. She was up to, to her credit. She ended yeah. up on a network uh, cable news channel, so yeah. that was her aspiration. Exactly. So yeah, and when you're done, you're going to go to cook, and you'll be. I'm going to be a teacher. I, I think a lot of the times you might reach a fifty that you might want to go and be a movie star or this or that, but I, I love what I do so much, and obviously I don't do it for the money, but again, once is there be, money? <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. But, um, but maybe when you're done, you could do some endorsements to help fund something, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you're always going to be involved with a lot of different things, regardless of um, after your years up, there's still going to be a lot of opportunities for you. Because what are the restrictions as Miss America? You cannot do endorsements, I'm guessing? No, I, I mean, after Miss America, it's almost I mean, like during, free sorry, reign. During that one year, can you? Oh, during, you know, it all depends on the sponsors and the endorsements gotcha. of yeah. this America. You always got to promote them for you. Right. What about uh, for Miss Minnesota? Where are the sponsors for Miss Minnesota? Well, for Miss Minnesota, we have a variety of sponsors, but a lot of it is scholarship, providing money for scholarships. So it varies. Uh, we have Dale Carnegie training. Clean in the oak for so Rasmussen for fitness, and so we have different aspects right. of our sponsors, and that's what's really, really cool about the program. Is we're constantly getting more. So, hey, if you want to open up your checkbook and Absolutely. provide some, we would love some sponsorship the money. Twin Cities Hit we'd Show will definitely. Do we have a coffee mug? <laughs> no, they we're still trying to get. Five I'm just there. checking our our Excel budget <laughs> spreadsheet here. I think we're a little thin, but I'll keep you posted. We've got uh, we've got blue and white taxi. They could be your official. Chauffeur. I guess I take the mug. So we've got, <laughs> so we've got the chart house. We've got third street brew, brew, brew house. We like beers. We've got sponsors. Come on. <laughs> yeah. uh, the Dale Carnegie, though, so that helps with your stage presence. Yes. Yeah. Just just uh, having a calmer aspect of when people are asking questions and really defining your brand. Who are you as Miss Minnesota in your year? That's really what it's all about. Not necessarily. Question and answer, question and answer, but what's your brand as Rachel Adams? Mm -hmm. Do you ever, do you go on online, I've got here some of the stuff they suggest if you're running, like number one, adjust your attitude. People <laughs> pick up on your attitude instantly. They're looking Before you turn to greet someone or enter the room or step on stage, make a presentation, think about the situation, make a conscious choice about the attitude you want to embody. I must say you came in here very positive, very bright, full mm -hmm. of confidence, yeah. and yet humble, right? not arrogant. No, yeah. and you... Well, that's a good start. Yeah, I wasn't, you guys really, this I wasn't really expecting anger, but um, <laughs> she did not. Number, no, I wasn't three, expecting that. I would have been a surprise. Number three, let's just turn that frown upside down. <laughs> it is actually. That's a little cheesy, but I like it. Number okay. three is smile. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> See, yeah, that's smile cool. is an invitation, a sign of welcome. It says, I'm friendly and approachable. Number two is straighten your posture. <laughs> I'm done doing all these right now. I've already changed my attitude. Make eye contact, which you certainly did this morning. Raise your eyebrows. Open your eyes slightly more than normal to, to <laughs> simulate the <laughs> eyebrow flush. It's a universal signal of recognition. Strong eyebrow and, uh, ring. Uh, <laughs> crazy. Shake hands. You had a nice handshake. It was firm, but not, you know, aggressive. Mildly painful. <laughs> <laughs> but then it goes on to uh, the, some of the questions. Have you been reviewing... Questions like what could they ask? What are do they even let you know? Are there categories, politics? Uh, they really don't let you know. A lot of it, you hope that it would pertain to your platform because uh -huh. that's what you're going to be advocating for throughout your entire year. So again, convincing them that your platform matters, and you might have a couple of other questions here and there about your identity or about culture or about uh, just, you know, what's going on in. Society right now, but you're always trying to tailor it back to who you are. Who are the judges this year? Miss Minnesota. 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 Miss Minn
We have a variety of judges. We have actually a preliminary panel of judges, and we have a celebrity panel of judges. So some of the celebrity panel judges are Brett Aldridge. Who's that? He's, he's a country singer. You uh, okay. hit a country singer. Gotcha. Um, Amy Purdy is one of them. And she's she's Purdy. She's she is an amazing woman. She she's, a a she's a Paralympian. Oh, okay. She's very famous. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. But super okay. gorgeous. Yeah. Really nice body as well. Yeah. Really pretty. But they're still saying and revealing the judges as yeah. we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you can't send uh, uh, flowers to anyone just yet? No. No. <laughs> the only time you can frown. <laughs> that is frowned upon. Now, did you watch the pageants growing up as a child? Yeah, I, I've always watched them, but I thought it was impossible to ever be up on that stage and, and to actually be there right now. Fun fact for you, yes. you are more likely to have a son go into the Super Bowl than a daughter go to Miss America. Wow. So it puts it into perspective. So your dad got yeah. over his disappointment of barrel racing. <laughs> no. With you? He's no. Still, he's, he's still like... He still goes for that. I kid you You not. could have been a barrel <laughs> racer. You're, you're a pageant girl. You could have been barrel racing right now, winning this trophy. We could have been in Piedmont, North Dakota, or whatever. Or you're the Super so, Bowl. We get it all of, the time. <laughs> Super Bowl of pageants. Do you, when you watch and you see people competing and they lose it, they go blank, do you cringe watching, do you feel their pain when they're making mistakes? When you're at home in your sweatpants watching other pageants? I mean, you, I, you, I feel for them. I feel for them a little bit, but at the end of the day, we're all human, we all make mistakes. I don't think the judges they're, want to see somebody who's absolutely perfect. They want to see somebody who's real. That's what Miss America is about. It's just kind of being that all-American girl next door and being real, but at the same time, owning it, but who cares? Because there have been historically, how do we say it, dumb answers during <laughs> the Q&A of beauty pageants. Are we talking about Miss America here? I don't know. Actually, Ooh. actually, <laughs> probably not. Although this first one, I'm going to play a couple. The, there, I have like four here. <laughs> maybe from a different pageant system? Yes, probably, maybe. Uh, that are, oh my god. Here's one, listen to this one. Okay, so it's kind of tough. Yeah, but yeah that's a tough question. Yeah. Dr. Joyce, come on. That's a great she answer. Know, she didn't know she nailed it. She went around the circle. All right, I'm going to ask. She uh, and Michelle Bachman. I'm going to ask these two some pageant questions. Oh, Chuck, okay. Colleen. Okay, I'm, I'm on. I'm ready. I'm bring it on. Bring it on. Uh, Chuck, if you were to meet God, Chuck, what would you ask him or tell him? I would ask him first of all what what his favorite sandwich is, <laughs> and I would tell him that uh, he needs. You would, to work you would on ask him what his favorite yeah, sandwich is. Yeah, and we need to work on like better alternative energy sources, like in the Upper Midwest. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Chuck. Environmentally friendly. Yeah. See, see, I'm getting that in there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Chuck. Mr. Bloomington. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go to Colleen, former Miss Universe. She wants to now become Miss Alive and Social Network. <laughs> Uh, where'd it go? Oh, how can we make this world, Colleen, a better place to live in? Well, I think we can make this world a better place to live in if we had education such as books <laughs> and books. <laughs> and also, <laughs> and also if we get eight hours of sleep, such as it is. Yeah, it's too. Thank you. Oh, you nailed that. Did she not nail that? Rachel, I'm going to ask you one that I think you might be able to nail. If you win 
What is your plan to contribute to this society if you win the crown today? How would you contribute being Miss America? One of the things that I want to do that, that I'm so excited about if I were to win is in every classroom I visit, because you know, Miss America is traveling the world, I would want to show an appreciation for one teacher in that school and have students express why that one teacher inspires them so incredibly much. Because if I have that opportunity to make it so that teacher will keep their job and be inspired by that one moment, then it's all worth it because that teacher is going to continue inspiring children every single day when I'm no longer Miss America. So it's really putting an aspect on education, value teachers in the community. That's a big part of my platform. And we have a winner. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm starting to rethink my sandwich platform. I think like I undershot that one, maybe just a little. Nicely done. These other two idiots blew it. That's good. That's good. You were poised, though. Yeah. That's good. I like you took a breath. You thought about it. You could play like a good you know, That was very professional. Thank like you. you. I did. Take notes. <laughs> That's why I can't get a job. Kelly is just dying to put that crown. I, yeah, yeah, she we'll is. She's drooling. <laughs> before we, we're coming up on a break, before we go to break, speaking of women, uh, we were talking about this making news this week. Two ladies uh, made it through the toughest army training there is. Check it out. This is from CBS. Chuck. Sorry. But here comes the rub. Listen to this. So there's a little pat on your head. Thanks yeah. for going through yeah. it. You're not Here's a gold star on yeah. your yeah. head. But you know, we've come a long way. They didn't even let women in combat roles till what within the last ten years. So we're yeah. getting there, but I get it. It's yeah. a quote unquote experiment. Uh, but they succeeded. Let them in. Yeah, baby steps, but That's come on, right. let's really do this. Yeah. You know they do how they, they, they anoint the Rangers too. Because they take that um, pin and they pound it into you. Yeah, no, Rangers too. Okay. Yeah, they boom. You so it jabs you in your flesh. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Fun. Maybe that's why they're not letting them. Do it. I think if women can, you know, give childbirth, they can handle that. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> I've heard that's painful. I don't know if there's any truth. It's not bad, you guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what I figured. Hey, I had a hernia. Okay, so I know pain. It's like diarrhea. Yeah. Oh. That's, all. Yeah. that's it. That puts wow. it in perspective. Yeah. Thank you. All this bitching, bro. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I does that anger you guys? You that? know what? Though it doesn't because I don't. Here's. Oh. I don't understand. You're a misogynist. No, I'm not. I just knowing people that are in that elite squad, and I don't know that. And they didn't lower the standards, which is fine and great. It does change the dynamic of a trip when you add um, women because we got. Wow, Why are you sound, I know I am. I know it sounds ridiculously what? horrible. It not that they can't do. They obviously can hold their own. With, the, the guys, These two but can, yeah. there, it um, there might be something to be said as far as being able, the the weight they have to carry the um. They just prove they could. Well, 
in that amount of time for extended, that was two Speed months. Speed this up, Duke Cleaver. Two, <laughs> two months versus a year. Um, and going to the bathroom, pooping in public. These guys are in close, tight quarters sometimes. It's not like they always have a bathroom or right something. Oh, my God. That is a real thing, you guys. Girls poop. That is just freaking news. She's a misogynist. She backs it up because women also poop. No, it's... <laughs> In the <laughs> horrors of battle, I don't think, ooh, I saw your hoo-hoo is an issue. I don't know. In okay. the horrors of battles, I don't think, period? wow, that turd really stinks. In period. I was yeah. not a problem. I don't know. I was a problem at all. I am shocked at you. I don't, it's not, I'm not on either side. I'm trying to see both sides. I'm impressed. That's an incredible <laughs> achievement for both of those women to be able to do that. I've just been doing like a ping pong with my head <laughs> yeah. back and forth. Oh, they're working the I'm life. never ever going to make it. Every single, single morning, morning here, Rachel. <laughs> Every single morning it's like this. Like, I'm never going to make it. Well, I know. You're, you're probably more in line with the majority of opinion, actually. It, is Miss America, it, uh, is it a Christian-based competition? No, not at all. Miss America should represent everyone. I mean, just last year we had Nina Dabaluri, who was uh, the first Indian woman crowned Miss America. She's uh, her religion is Hindu, I believe. Oh, so this, it's, okay. this changes yeah, everything. Absolutely not. Because I, I applied, and I figured it's, I, I didn't get in. I assumed it was because I was Jewish, but it turns out it's because I'm not a woman. Turns out. Yeah, yeah it turns out. That was the only thing. Yeah. But you know, talking about the combat role seriously. So I was a cop for a, you know, like yeah. a while, and. Uh, I, there were women on my team, and uh, yeah, women, there, there are some dynamics where women are a little different, so I kind of get that. Right. On the other hand, if I didn't trust them enough to, to put my life in their hand, I, they wouldn't have been on that call with me. So Sure. No, yeah. it wasn't their incompetent. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just different. Yeah. There's, it's different. It there are some dynamics. dynamics. They said the same thing when they separated the blacks and the whites. So it's just different in tight quarters. Well, and, to say black and white is different versus men and Women, yeah. There's a difference between there, men yeah. and women. Yeah. There's no difference between a black yeah. man and a white yeah. man. Yeah, but the time they well, yeah, well, certainly thought so. Right. Well, that, but science will back you up on yeah. anyone. Although, you know, my trainer on SWAT was a woman. I mean, like, I got partnered up with her regularly, and she was kind of uh, my... Not, my it makes me sound no, like I think women I'm not, can't... I'm, I'm totally yeah. not... Oh, no, you shut it up. <laughs> no, no, I'm, no, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm going to... Wait, let me put some lipstick on so I can get the... Take a break. Uh, Someone obviously is pissed. <laughs> I've got blood coming out of my wear. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Donald Trump. Uh, uh, we're going to talk more with our Miss Minnesota and uh, talk about uh, a couple of things happening around town, including coyotes in Bloomington. Gross. Gross. We'll be right back. Stay so, how long is this break? About two minutes back. Oh, Can you use okay. bathroom? Can you drink? Can you like that? Any coffee? No, I'm I'm good. I'm I'm perfect. I I'm not on coffee right now for a little bit. I switched oh, to tea yeah. because it gives you jitters when you have coffee. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They go to the bathroom last. Can I have a dream team over the glass brewers? Yeah, real quick. See, see if you want. I have some too that I can send you. Um, she's doing great, right? Yeah, yeah. she's a great gal. Um, the um, Miss America vote. Can you talk about the Miss America vote? Yeah, we can. Get oh, that's right. There's voting on the page? Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a Miss America's Choice. So we vote all on social media. Oh, okay. So if you if you status a post every day that says go Minnesota or crown the teacher, that will help the ultimate winner. Uh, they, uh, it'll it'll just help get one person into the top. One person to the top. Okay. That doesn't matter. Okay. But if you have a lot of listeners, that yeah, yeah, no, we'll so they have sure. to have the word Minnesota. She can do that yeah. online, but they have to have go Minnesota or crown the Minnesota teacher. Or, gotcha. Uh, go Rachel, Miss and Minnesota, then, or something, and then hashtag Miss America vote. Yeah, cool. It's yeah. Trending on Twitter. We'll, and we'll you know. connect that to our web page, that would Facebook be nice. page, and we'll tweet it, and then we'll mention it right out of the break here. That'd be great. So we'll hit all of our social media peeps. Oh, you want attention? We've got about 40 seconds. Which mm -hmm. is number one? That's right. Special offer. Yeah, see if you can do the Charles. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll, I'll get all of my game on.
What time is it? Five thirty. Five thirty to six thirty. Okay. Just dinner there if you want. Oh, they have good food and such. Is it? All right, Minnesota, your Miss Minnesota is here, Rachel Ladoff. And Hello. You, and uh, you want people to know they can start voting right now. How, how does that yes. work and what's going on? So they have a Miss America's Choice winner, and that helps that one girl get into the top 15 at Miss America. So it's super easy because it's all on social media. So all you have to do is post a Facebook status or a tweet saying something like, I vote for Minnesota or go Minnesota and hashtag Miss America vote. Miss America vote. All right, we're putting that information up on our But your Facebook. your post, if you post a status, it has to be public. So you have to change it instead of friends only. You have to change your little status to public. Public, yeah. Yep. And, it, and it won't make your profile page public. It's just that one post that makes it public. All right, so everyone That's how they count them. Want Rachel to be at least the top fifteen, uh, so we don't even we don't even go to any website. Just on our own social yep. media, they'll find us by exactly. hashtagging Miss America Vote, but then throw Minnesota before that somehow. Anytime, because that's how they count which state you're voting for. You have to say Minnesota, or you can retweet mine on Twitter. Retweets count, so you can follow me at Miss America MN on Twitter. And can you vote often? You can vote once a day every day so, until September 10th. But you can once you vote, you can vote again the next day. If yes. You want. Yep. Oh, all right. You and got it. it. it Make it happen. <coughs> you, it. you head off uh, in September for the mm -hmm. big thing in Atlantic City. Have you ever been down to Atlantic City? I never have. I've, I've only been to New York. That's as far as the East Coast as I go. So I'm a little I'm excited. Have, have they told you anything? What to expect when you get down there? Not, not really. We're still waiting to get our itinerary, which I think we, we get today as far as what we're going to be doing. But uh, a lot of it is prelims, rehearsals, and because we compete for three days before finals night, which is what all of you would be watching. Mm -hmm. So uh, while you're watching on Sunday, we already competed three days before that in so all of the categories of competition. Do those competitions end up with people getting cut, or they just add to your score on the Broadcast yes, it, it adds to your score. Okay, uh, it's so like you, a composite score. And so you'll definitely that. be on the broadcast. You're definitely you're not going to get cut before the broadcast. That's the plan. The plan is <laughs> you, you, you can get cut before. You can. So you you could there could be a time where I, I don't make the top fifteen cut, and at that point uh, um, I you unfortunately wouldn't really see me much throughout the show, but. I'm, I'm in it to to go all the way. Yes. So I don't even think like that. Sure. <laughs> And your talent is a ribbon dance. Now, explain that because it sounds like, oh, that's not a very difficult thing. You jump around with a ribbon. Chuck does that, but you're saying it's way more than that. Well, here's the thing. This ribbon is 20 feet long. Oh. So, I mean, there's a lot of heft to it. body length in a way. And you have and to make that. You can't touch the ground, right? Isn't it the rules? Virtually, no. Yeah. I mean, it's, I can show you guys a video, but it, it takes a lot out of you. It takes a lot of endurance, a lot of stamina to dance that long with a ribbon. And it's it's basically like contemporary dancing, but yeah. you're also throwing in another element into it. So that's why it's And, and so how, much, how much work is going into that performance? Are you training a lot? 
Yeah, I, I train a lot. I train probably three or four times a week, and I'm performing it as much as I can, and it's really an expression of who I would be as Miss America. I think that's important. You want your talent to express who you are. Yeah. You don't want it to be. You want it to be dry. You want to connect with children and adults, and I think that's what my talent does. So, what song will you be performing to? I'm going to dance to "Out of the Woods" by Taylor Swift. Uh, yes, very contemporary. And why did you choose that one? I think it has a really positive message as far as something that adults and children can connect to. It's this feeling of you're feeling so confined and all you want to do is, is release, you want to go out of the woods. And it's a metaphor for really trying to find a way to express who you are. And that's what I'm doing through my ribbon dancing. It's an emotion and as well as an expressional art piece. Have you uh, tweeted? Taylor to say, hey, Taylor. I should. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. Look at you and your ideas. I know, he's good at this stuff. Wow. He's good. He doesn't know what a metaphor is. Things are about to blow up for me right now. (laughs) I'll explain metaphor later. She may, social media. she may hop on your bad wagon then and go, "Oh my gosh, you got to vote for Miss Minnesota because she's dancing." That's a good, good call. I'm gonna have to. This is the song. Yes, she must be singing it live. But yes, this is the song. So right. it's very kind of epic. And yeah. Now, does the network work with you on, uh, or, hey, do you want a fog machine, do you want That would be lights? great. <laughs> they, they have a really cool uh, lighting system and uh, how they light up the stage. They tailor it to your song. So one girl might have all of this glowing red behind her. One girl might have blue. So they switch it up depending on the performance. So it really helps amplify your talent a little bit more. Who's the host? Who's the host of the show? Uh, it's going to be Chris Harrison for Finals Night. Okay. He's going to be hosting. The Bachelor. Yes, yes. The Bachelor. He, he does a great job, yeah, though. Yeah. He's, he's very sleek. He's yeah. never messed up once yet. Do you mm-hmm. remember when he used to be the host of um, the show? Uh, it was a design show on HGTV. They would, people were, they would interview interior decorators, and they would pick which one they wanted and follow them through their interior decorating. <laughs> like 10 years ago, he was, before he was a Bachelor. Wow. Now, this is saying out of the woods. That almost relates to uh, where you live and work, too. It, it really does. It, it kind of plays a spin off out of where I'm coming from, uh, from where I teach, and I think it's something that a lot of my students relate to as well. You know, there's still time. I think maybe you should, uh, from the ceiling, you should zip line down to the stage <laughs> with, like, sparklers in each hand, right? And, and flaming then, batons. Then <laughs> flaming batons. See, Sounds dangerous. Mm-hmm. I think this is a bad idea. No. <laughs> You're stealing the deal. Rachel, Rachel, <laughs> you do it. Maybe in my mind, like, for <laughs> a yeah. second, I'll be thinking of that, and then it'll be gone. And somehow you have to involve trampolines, and maybe and flying, an Arabian, an Arabian horse, but painted up like a unicorn. <laughs> and a bear in a tutu. <laughs> yes. In the background, yeah. dancing. Yes. Sharks. This Katy Perry sharks this dancing. This fun, but I think we've got something. <laughs> now we've got a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to the audience, they all have their mouth open, stunned. <laughs> and amazing. And then she's like underneath, like, what <laughs> 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 <And> she's done. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> uh, we're stopping uh, the show now. Game over. We obviously have a winner. <laughs> <Game over. laughs> Alright, so we expect to see that. <laughs> okay. Expect. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot to move up to. Hey, you got to come. You can do it. It's going to be August. Are you going to go to the state fair? Yeah, I will be at the state fair. I'll be doing a couple of radio interviews. I believe with Fox nice. 9 and um, up in Adams. So. You should come over to our WCCO mid morning show. Uh, let us know. All right. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. on that show with Jason DeRussia. So. Mm-hmm. That'd be fun. I'm on that show every Friday. Um, well, stuff still happening in the news. We didn't talk about it yesterday. Uh, there's coyotes in the Twin Cities. True. I'm like, True. What? <laughs> What? My like pugs. Cook, of course, you. Have no, it's, wolves. it's just it's not even a surprise to me. It's it's like oh, it's kind of like a cat in a way because we have wolves. We're just walking around with wolves. And you bears. have Sasquatch. Maybe a Sasquatch. That's more of a Canadian thing, maybe. I think they get down there for jacklings. But How long have you been up there, the Cook? Uh, for about a year now. And have you seen a wolf yet? Oh yes. Really? Yes. We have a big gray one. I mean, he was just right on the road and just looked. Like he was peering into my soul. It was scary. (laughs) (laughs) 
They're kind of like raccoons up there in a way. There's a lot. Yeah. Well, here's a. I was shocked that in Bloomington there was a coyote. Coyote here's the word for it. Sneaky. By the way, Buddy is about, he's a white little mix mud of a dog, just cute as a butt and evidently tasty. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Someone has therapy in their future. <laughs> Just waiting for the artist sketch. There's like yeah, a, an eye patch. It's got the road runner next yeah. to him. <laughs> yeah. I, I disagree with their strategy. And back when I was in charge of a crime prevention, I did a lot of this. Chuck was on the Bloomington yeah. Police Force for oh, okay. 18 years. And it's, you know, they're like preaching safety, and that's good. But I just think if you could take a moment, look the coyote in their eye, reason with them, and look, hey, this is a pet. Think of what you're doing to our family. <laughs> he was not a very good cop for 18 years, but he was. Is that why you're in radio now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. They ran me out. There was no coyotes back in your No, day. there were coyotes. That would happen from time to time. There's a lot of wildlife. But there's the whole, oh, the Minnesota River cuts right through it. Uh, yeah. so they, they when they did this. Same story a couple years ago when this was happening in St. Louis Park. <laughs> the guy on the news said, if you come in contact with one of these coyotes, what you need to do is you need to haze it. That was a good point. Haze yeah, it. yeah. And I kind and of think, a fraternity well, so I, said, yeah, I, said, I didn't even know how you would force it to shotgun <laughs> yeah. eight MGDs and then shove a mop handle up its ass. <laughs> it seems aggressive and dangerous. I don't think so. I think there's a lot. See, again, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it's mean. To I have no idea. He said haze. <laughs> no, I think he meant haze. But yeah. he did, and I didn't. I'm like, all right. That makes total sense. No to hazing. No. He you know, no. It on the as, top of the paddle. As Americans, we go right to violence. Like, oh, we're going to shoot it. We're going to trap. No reason with the coyote. Right. Um, Take a second, people. Everyone, calm down. And maybe, maybe Buddy instigated this whole thing. Like, oh, I'm Buddy the Shitsu. <laughs> Come bring it, Mr. Coyote. I know in my house, because we lived in the woods of Minnetonka, I couldn't let uh, Harvey, the Pomeranian, out unattended because we had owls. Yeah. They big just, old owls. Oh, yeah. 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 And they were like, mm, yeah, yeah. hey, buddy, <laughs> come on over here. I've heard of eagles doing the same thing with little dogs. <laughs> that, <laughs> I have tried to make that sound a million times for people. <laughs> That's the eagle sound. That is great. I can do two impressions. What, that and? Yeah, eagle. Here we go. Here comes, here comes the sneeze. eagle. Yeah. The sneeze. And then Donald Duck sneezing. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's too perfect. It is. Oh. I, I could oh. have a talent. Is there room for me on September 13th? Yes. Yeah. I should have brought you to Orlando. We were just in Orlando. Oh, she got a nice thing. I'm sorry. We were in Disney World. <laughs> Put on some pants, Donald. <laughs> uh, there is that. Oh, oh boy. Uh, so, speaking of which, there's a barefooted burglar in the Twin Cities. This just happened. This is from WCCO. <laughs> you really do. Leave <laughs> <laughs> him alone. The husband's like, Please, stop. He was sleeping in the same room, but for how many people like me do have valuables in their top dresser or drawer thinking, mm -hmm. well, it's under the socks. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. This, could they yeah. pick, there's like... Playboy magazines? No, my, <laughs> oh, my passports, some sure. jewelry, oh, yeah. some watches. Yeah. 
And I'm like, oh, I guess I'm could, not fooling anyone. Could they have picked more cliche people from the man? No, I, Vern gets up a lot during the night. I was going to fix him some supper. You know, he gets up to go to the bathroom yeah. like four but, times. Well, he's had kidney transplants, and I maybe I'm just sharing a little too much. Sometimes it's colostomy bag will jam yeah. up. Yeah. But the poor guy was asleep in the same room, and it's not a very big room, so like the dresser, you have to like squeeze your legs into it. So he's literally here, Paul, let him tell the story. Chuck. <laughs> That's where I sleep. I know that guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The, oh, that is you know, so funny. Who that couple reminds me of is when Adam Sandler and Chris Farley would play that married couple, old married couple, and she would talk all about like the d dinners they had, and he would just sit there and go, "God, take me now." <laughs> Oh, like, that is right, too tough, funny. right? When you were sleeping through the whole thing, like you always do all the time. <laughs> For the love of God, somebody kill me! <laughs> uh, that is too. The whole everything about that story is funny from start to finish. I hope they don't how catch many, it. Uh, how often are there break-ins? Uh, daily. I mean, usually, like this guy's obviously he's not a burglar. He's some dude who's on some drugs and is having lunch. Yeah, he's running around yeah, barefoot. barefoot. That's bad planning, unless you're like you know really good at being ninjas skills. But uh, <laughs> since these people, I I caught some crazy, crazy people doing crazy, crazy stuff. You know, just uh, one guy, same thing, walking around pushing a cart at three a.m. on a residential street. And I pulled a next one. cart. Uh, it was like, like a wheelbarrow. Uh -huh. He had taken from the house. I go, uh, what, what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. I just uh, really? Is that your stuff? Oh yeah, for sure. So I'm I go just knock. Taking it for a walk here now. Yeah. Stereo. Knock on the first door where he's coming from and uh, wake him up. I'm like, uh, is this your stuff? Yeah, that's our stuff. Oh, and he was he's, he's eating a cord. eating a slice of pizza the whole time he's talking. He's saying he didn't do this. And they go, yeah, that's our pizza. And that's our napkin. He's eating <laughs> off of. Like, yeah. So I called the pizza burger. Yeah. yeah we, we nailed him on our first degree burglary because he's eating their pizza. At three in the morning. And you've been pen pals ever since. Uh, no, he's my roommate. Uh, <laughs> Pizza burglar. Yeah, speaking of which, this is your passport here. Oh, oh yeah. he went to my house too, did he? Yeah. It's a callback. Thank you for getting So now everybody knows where you keep all that stuff. Yeah, great. Yes, and I have been right all. Yeah. Oh, I'm moving it after this <laughs> story. It's going to the second drawer. Yeah, I was just going to say, from the <laughs> left drawer to the right drawer. Gotcha. The second drawer. Where I keep my panties. Yeah, I hope you lock that crown up, speaking of which. You need yeah. to keep that under lock and key. Well, I, definitely, I definitely don't leave it in the car. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> um, hello, uh, Miss Minnesota Pageant. Yeah, what? this is Rachel. Um, the crown um, kind of is missing from my car. What terrible. is the rules when it, uh, when it comes to the crown? What are you allowed to do or not to do? I mean, can you be out at a happy hour at Applebee's going... <laughs> no! <laughs> That's right! Deal breaker. <laughs> I, I think of it as, as this. I'm going to act how I'd want to act if I had a student oh, looking at me. Nice. Okay, so, good. how I'm acting in public is how I would act as I was Miss Minnesota or as Miss Latin. So, that's something that I'm always used to because you're a constant public figure if you're a teacher. But if you have the crown on your head, that is, you are on. You are on and you stay on until you have to take it off. And, when you're off, you can go to Applebee's or whatever you want to do, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you're, you're respecting yourself. Yeah. You are forever going to be a role model. And it sounds like as a teacher, really? that's not an issue for you to begin with. Right, right. And so it, a lot of it is just amplifying what I'm already doing. Really. Well, can you allow people, say, with the name Colleen, to wear the crown for a second? I would to love to have it. her try it on. Oh, no, Colleen. I did right, my, so I did my camera. Right. I have to take this off. Okay. Do you want we'll to do that? Like moment. Wait, 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 wait. Is okay. it one size fits all? You're the edge of it. It is, okay. It's kind of tear. I have a giant head. It, yes, you do. Look at that. Dear Miss America, thanks. Oh, yeah, oh my God. Good. 
<laughs> you know? Can I oh. have it? No, it feels that's really yeah, the way it should be. You <laughs> are a little petunia. It's about its home. <laughs> uh, Rachel, you may never get that back. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say any sodomy jokes with this on my no. head. No. <laughs> Keep it clean. Did we get a nice one? Get one out of there. You get get one? one where she's... Yeah. yeah. Hold on, there you go. Yeah, the two of them together. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I mean to stand up. Yeah, if you right. can stand up, that'd be now great. Now you're practicing your okay, my balancing. Hey, listeners, are you enjoying our photo <laughs> shoot? All right, hang on. They're very visual. Aww. Are, are either of you on Tinder? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, almost. Thank very you nice. so much. That was, that was so awesome. cool. My kids are going to freak. Well done. They well just done. took a picture together. But you two yeah. can't wear it. I figured. Watch the cords. I don't trust you. Watch the cords. Send oh, me that. that. Where, Where does that stay when you're at home? Does it have a shelf or a box or a... It pretty much stays in storage because it could rust or oh. you, you don't want to have the elements taking control of it to is, conserve it. Is this the original crown that's from the beginning yes. of time? Yes. So yep. how old? I have... Yeah. No, no. We get a new crown every year. Oh, you year. do? Okay. Yeah, you, you get, get to keep, keep your it. crown and Oh, really? I, um, I have that. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, she's got this. Oh. 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 Are you going to do a picture for us? We need a photo. Yeah. Oh, wow. Before you leave. Yes. yes. Oh, that's very cool. Well, I, I saw online that um, there's one lady, <laughs> former Miss Minnesota, she did it, it was like 50 years ago, and she said it still is something that has forever changed her life. I bet. It's a big deal. Well, you have a lot of different experiences, things that happen, different people you meet. So when you're Miss Minnesota, you're networking. I mean, think about I would be here sitting talking to the three of you. About who knows what. Aren't you? So it's all about that repeat. I think it's up from here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens too? Yeah, I'm sure it's like uh, Academy Award winners. You are forever going to be introduced with that in your title, no matter how old you are. I mean. Uh, Fun fact: I was the 80th Miss Minnesota Crown. Oh wow! Our, we had our we had our 80th anniversary this year. Are they, are they all living? No, no, no. no. would be. If I'm the uh, yeah, you're right. Actually, my chaperone is a former Miss Minnesota as well. Really? Oh. What year? year? What? What's that? Here, let's turn her mic around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. <laughs> no. I just had to. You're live on the Tootsie's Hit Show, Mary. What year, what, what year were you? 1968. Chavez, around the board. Oh. Uh, <laughs> cool. So, what advice do you have for her? <laughs> uh, to enjoy the experience. And you're right, even though several years go by, the experience that you have there, the things you learn from there, uh, carry into your future and all positive, positive things. What, what, so you're the chaperone, so your job is to what? Just make sure that she's where she should be or behaving the way she should be? That I can't control. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad I don't have to. Yeah. She's a lovely gal. Yes, yeah, just to have someone with her. Sure. It's a very professional organization, yeah. so uh, she has someone with her at all times. Yes. Yeah. How has it changed since 1968? <laughs> well, they aren't burning bras now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Um, was Facebook so, huge in the past? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We didn't have any of that. And um, Bert, uh, Park sang the song yeah. oh, that yeah. you had on your recording. Yeah. So. Uh, Who sings it now? We don't know. It's it's not anyone that's. They, they still have the song. Though. Okay, all right. But yeah. it's not like the big deal of her, her but, singing for Vermont in the oh, years. Back in that day, they did not have scholarships for women. So the Miss America program and the talent or uh, portion. portion was all uh, for, the, for women. I think softball was starting, maybe, in schools. But the scholarship aspect of the program is what drew me to the program. And what did you do after your reign? Where did, where did your life take you? I started a dance studio, and I just retired two years ago after 43 years. Oh, wow. And she still helps uh, choreograph all of the dances for Miss Minnesota. Yeah. And so what's neat is to have formers come back and still amplify the program because it is yeah. all completely nonprofit. And so we're running on volunteers who are passionate about the organization. And that could be me. I could be being a chaperone someday. So it's really a sisterhood. Of making sure we're amplifying each other. All right. Well. Good luck. Yeah. Thank you. Can't make we've it. we've linked all your stuff uh, on how to hashtag and what to put on our Facebook Perfect. page, and we just read it out. So. Thank you so much.
and and you can use you can use hashtag crown the teacher. That's a big thing. Um, it's a, it's our lingo hashtag crown the teacher. It worked for Miss Minnesota, so maybe nice. it'll work for Miss America. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Crown the teacher. All right, good. Well, Rachel, it's just a joy to meet you. Um, Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you having me here today. So when you go back as Miss America yes. to cook, are you allowed to snowmobile wearing the crown? You know, I don't snowmobile oh, right no. now <laughs> okay. in pageantry because I actually got into a snowmobiling accident Ooh. not too oh, long ago. Geez. And so I'm doing everything that I can to conserve the right. hands, nice. the wrists. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Well, don't do <laughs> there that. You Be go. safe. So <laughs> September 13th, watch at ABC. Uh, vote right now to get her into the final 15. Hashtag that, uh, what was the hashtag again? Hashtag Miss America Vote. Miss America Vote, but mention Minnesota or Rachel before that to get her in, all right? Yes. I know you got a busy day. Thanks for taking an hour with us. Thank you. All right, you two. We'll see you guys tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, this has been the Twin Cities Hit Show. See you tomorrow. Just means that I just sat in